Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple different things. First, the new update to the MusicCast app from Yamaha, and that's for use with the latest gen of AVR receivers and standalone processors and its corresponding firmware update. Now this is a firmware update that is currently only coming through over the air or over the internet, so to speak. So if you look on the website, it's not there in the support to download the file and there are no official release notes, but they were leaked ahead of time via the press releases. So what do we get? Well, we get primarily two things, support for the new title login system and support for finally Amazon UHD music. So we've gone from the update from just over a year ago that gave us HD support, CD quality, to the full-on shebang UHD. So we're gonna take a look and see if it's any good. This is the new app and you might notice it looks exactly the same. Now I was very excited for this because I was hoping that, hey, great, music has to be updated. Maybe it'll be at least as good as Heos. Maybe it's gonna be more like some of the third-party streamer boxes. I don't know, because it was pretty useless before, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, yeah, it's still pretty useless. I'll take you through it and show you everything, but uh, bottom line, two thumbs down. So the good news at least is I haven't found any downside to updating things. The firmware is acting exactly the same for all of the actual sound settings. And to get it, it's very simple. Just open the menu button on your receiver or processor remote. And if it's available for your particular unit, you will immediately see a screen before you even get to this that says, hey, there's a new firmware. Would you like to install or would you like to install it later? If you accidentally press later or no, you can check manually. You just open the system option and scroll down to firmware update, and then you can manually check at any time. And again, if it's available, it will immediately show. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. When it's done, the front panel of the receiver will say update complete, please power off. You press the power button on the receiver, and then you can turn it back on and start using it. So what you see here is what I see in the MusicCast app on my phone or tablet, and I'm just, screen mirroring it here so you can see the interface. It is virtually identical. Now the MusicCast app is a direct control of the receiver. All of these options you see here are direct play over the internet. You're not using AirPlay, you're not using Bluetooth. Oops, <laughs> flip the tablet. This is potentially absolute highest quality possible because the receiver is connecting directly to your accounts in whatever you sign up for. So I don't have accounts on all these, but I do on some, and it will directly play from those services. So that's why using anything built in is potentially the very best thing possible. No delay. So you're just using your device as a control pad for the receiver, very quick. You're not waiting for the device to pull down a file and then transmit it over your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Quality no middlemen. So this is the best possible way, playing directly through a device, whether that's your receiver or processor or a streaming device like a Blue Sound or any DAC with services built in. That's the best possible quality. Now let's take a look specifically at Amazon Music. And curiously, they didn't even update the icon to say UHD. They didn't last time either to say HD. So it still just says Amazon Music even though Amazon Music itself has updated itself to clarify the difference because it is separate. Amazon Music is free. Everybody with an Amazon account, I don't even know if you need an actual Amazon account anymore, but you get the free Amazon Music service, okay? You have to pay to get the higher quality tier. So this is support for the high quality tier. So now we'll just press it and this is the entirety of our interface for using services through MusicCast. You get this proprietary folder-like structure. It looks like you're using a Windows 95 computer and you get no extra information. So for this demo, I have one playlist set up and it's a playlist I use for setup and testing of systems and listening for pleasure, and it's simply called One. So I can tell 
I won't say her name, to shuffle my playlist one anywhere in the house and I get my music. It, it works very simply. This is how I like using it. But you may have a lot of other playlists set up or favorited artists or tracks or albums or whatever. It doesn't matter. You get Jack through this interface. So the search playlist stations, charts recommended and new are all from the top Amazon. That has nothing to do with your stuff. All of your stuff, like your playlists, I don't know why they have two listings for this, are under my music. So if you go under my music, you see again, playlists, artists, albums, tracks, and genres. Search is pretty limited. You're just text-based. We're gonna go into playlists. You're gonna see whatever you have saved and whatever you have recently played. It's just gonna stick it in there. So we'll go into playlist one. This is still buggy as hell. I have 280 songs, something right around there. And not everything loads. Sometimes it just cuts off halfway. Sometimes there are big sections like here. These never come in and they're not playable. And then it resumes again and then you get another break. Also, interestingly, all the tracks say HD. None of them say UHD, even though they are. The tracks are available and on other devices, I can play them in UHD, but these, at least on this screen, only display the HD symbol. Now, one track in particular that I wanted to show you guys because it is available in the highest possible UHD quality, and it's a track that I showed in my last video about playing UHD through the new Fire Stick 4K, which got an update for full support, and is awesome because you get the full Amazon native interface with video support and lyrics and every feature built into the system with a great interface on your TV that works perfectly. Nor Jones' Little Room. Well, it's one of the ones that are blanked out here, so I'm gonna have to go back and I can't play it from my playlist because I can't even select it. So I'm going to search for Little Room. And also, interestingly enough, that doesn't always work. <laughs> uh, little Room. Search. That time it did. Okay, so what this means is it found a result both in the general Amazon Music Library and my music. Even though it found it in my music, it still won't play it because it's one of those blanked out ones. So I know that we can go to Amazon Music and you have to guess what it found. I know it found a song and we should eventually see it. And there we go. So little room, tap it to play. I'm going to pause it so I don't get a copyright strike. But notice a few things. First, you have the Plain Jane basic interface. This is identical to how it looks airplay to the receiver. And by the way, there were a couple people that assumed when I was talking about airplay that I was going through my Apple TV to play things. No, airplaying is directly to the receiver. It has it built in. This is the same interface. All you get is the generic cover art. Sometimes it's very low quality. This one's not too bad, but it's not even HD. And you get a basic scrubbing capability, forward, back, pause, volume. So one advantage to going through the Music Cast app because it's directly controlling the receiver is you get full immediate control of all the receiver functions. So if you click down here on settings, you can turn things on or off like Pure Direct on or off, Surround AI on or off, whatever you wanna listen to as far as that goes. And that doesn't make any difference to me because I have everything set exactly the way it's supposed to be set, and I never toggle any of this stuff, so that's irrelevant to me. But if you're wanting to toggle that stuff as you play different songs, that's one advantage. So one big thing missing here is you have absolutely no idea what quality the song is. There is no display at all for any of the music information. There's no setting to turn it on. There's nothing on screen, and interestingly enough, even though this is a track where I can, it's subtle, but I can hear the difference repeatedly between CD quality and UHD, I can't tell which one this is because it's not, you can't toggle back and forth. There's nothing to set one or the other. 
I want to say it sounds like CD quality, so I am not even 100% sure if this is actually coming through in UHD or not. But everything's updated. The Music Cast app got its update. The firmware is updated. It's on 194. It's supposed to have support for it, but my ears are telling me I'm not sure. And the screen is telling me absolutely nothing. So this is just as worthless as it was a year ago with the last update. So contrast all of that with using a Fire Stick 4K and you get the cover art, you get whatever extra information they're gonna show up here, like scrolling lyrics <laughs> right there. Music video, if it's available, full track information about what the track is, your device, and what it's actually playing at. Everything built in. The one disadvantage to using this is you don't get the great control on your handheld device. That's actually something I enjoy because I like scrolling through while something's playing to find whatever's next, but that's not a huge deal considering everything else you get using the actual Amazon interface. And by the way, that only said playing at standard because I immediately paused it as it started to load. You actually let it play, it immediately goes to the highest quality. So there you go. Um, no reason not to update, doesn't hurt you, but unfortunately, Definitely not something on par with other current solutions out there. 50 bucks gets you this, by far the best deal, but you do have to have a great DAC. So your processor or receiver has to have a great DAC or you need to be piping outbound to a great DAC. But if you're already doing that, that DAC may already have a great interface built in. It really depends on what service you're using and what features are most important to you. But I just want to let you know, if you're looking forward to the new features out of MusicCast, they simply aren't there. They probably never will be. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time.